एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज अतीशा इन दिस वीडियो ऑफ द विजन ओ एस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट विजन ओ एस ऑर्नामेंट्स इन स्विफ्ट यू आई इन विजन ओ एस ऑर्नामेंट्स आर यूज टू शो कंट्रोल्स एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू अ विंडो विदाउट क्राउडिंग और हाइडिंग द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ अ विंडो ऑर्नामेंट्स कैन अपियर ऑन एनी एज ऑफ अ विंडो एंड वी जनरली यूज दैम टू डिस्प्ले कॉम्पोनेंट्स लाइक टूल बार टैब बार वीडियो बैक कंट्रोल एक्सेट्रा इन अवर विजन ओ एस एप Also, we have the flexibility to create our own custom ornaments as well. So let's go to Xcode and see how we can implement ornaments in our Vision OS app using Swift UI. I've already created a new project and I've called it Vision OS Ornaments. If you don't know how to set up a new Vision OS project, you can refer to my previous video in which I have showed how you can set up a new project and build your Vision OS app. And this code that you are seeing here inside this content view has also been taken from the previous video. Now let's create a new file and call it. It's going to be a Swift UI view. Let's call it Ornaments View One. For creating our first ornament, we are going to use a tab view. So for using a tab view. If you are coming from the Swift UI background, you would know how to create a tab view. Now within this tab view, we are going to create four tabs. The first one is going to be a home tab, which is going to use this content view. The second one is going to be a photos view. Third one is going to be a search view, and lastly, it is going to be a settings view. So let's uh, create those files. The first one is content view. The second one, let's create a photos view. And here, let's change to. photos view similarly let's create another one and we will call it search view and let's replace this text with search view and uh, the last one is going to be a swift ui view which is going to be called as settings view and also change its text to settings view now we have all of these child views that we want to show Uh, let's go to the ornaments view one, and inside this tab view, we are first going to show the content view. We are going to give it a modifier, which is the tab item, and the tab item is going to have a label, within which we'll specify the name that we want to give this tab item. So let's call it home, and we will also give it a system image. Secondly, we are going to show a photos view. Again, let's give it a tab item, and we'll give it a label photos. and the third one is going to be the search view and we will give it a tab item let's give it a label of search and the last one is going to be the settings view and we will label it as settings okay we are done now let's see how it is appearing So you can see that we have a ornament over here and we have all of these images that we have given to each of the child views that we have and we can easily navigate between the child views by using the existing tab view available in Swift UI. Also when we hover on these we can see the label as well as the system image that we have given. The only difference between the tab view in iOS compared with Vision OS is when we create a tab view in iOS then it gets displayed at the bottom of the screen. However, here it is hanging off the window. That's the only difference. Now let's create another ornament using the toolbar modifier. So for using that first we'll create a new Swift UI view. So let's call it ornaments view 2. here we are going to use our toolbar modifier now for using this we also have to specify a toolbar item we have the option to provide the placement of this particular toolbar so we'll give the placement for now as say bottom bar which will make this toolbar appear on the bottom left of the window now within this we are going to create a menu which will have three buttons so the first button let's call it item 1 for now we'll not give it any action so we'll specify the action as empty similarly let's create two more buttons and we'll name them item 1 item 2 and item 3 also we can give it a label so the label is going to be let's call it same menu and we are going to use a system image for it okay 
so it is done now let's run this on the simulator and see how our toolbar ornament looks like so you can see that our ornament with the name menu is displayed over here and it has three buttons now we can also give it a placement which is specific to vision os that is called as bottom ornament so this bottom ornament basically places our ornament in the bottom edge of the window right in the center so let's see how it looks like so yeah here we can see that it is just placed in the center of the bottom edge of our window so it this is how we can change the placement of it there are other options as well so you can play around with it and within your toolbar item you can place other items as well you can have a delete button or you can have a edit button that you would have been using in your ios applications so far we have seen how easily we could use the swift ui views and modifiers to create ornaments in our vision os app now let's move on to the last part of the video where we will learn how to create a custom ornament in vision os app using swift ui let's first create a new swift ui view for it so we'll create a new file let's call it ornaments view 3 and for creating a custom ornament, Swift UI provides us with an ornament modifier. This ornament modifier takes in four parameters. The first one is visibility. Whether we want to display our ornament or not, that is decided with the visibility uh, parameter. The second one is the attachment anchor. With this property, we define the point where we want to attach our ornament relative to its scene. In our case, the scene is the window. So this attachment anchor point could be top, bottom, center, bottom trailing, etc. The third one is the content alignment. So once we have defined our attachment anchor, that is the point where we want to attach the ornament, this content alignment specifies the alignment of the ornament with respect to its attachment anchor. And the last one, we specify the content that we want to display. Now let's try to understand it better by implementing it in our Vision OS app. So here, we'll use this modifier ornament. By default, it takes the visibility as automatic. Let's uh, define it separately. So we'll specify the visibility as we have options over here. If you see, we have automatic, hidden and visible. So let's make it visible for now. And here we can specify the attachment anchor since it is relative to the scene. So within the scene, we can specify the position. So let's uh, make it bottom. And apart from that, we can also give it a content alignment property. So here let's make it center. And lastly is the code that we want to display. So we'll create a text ornament content. And let's give it some padding as well. Also to make it look better, we'll give it a glass background effect. And within this, I will place my ornament in a rounded rectangle with a corner radius of say 32. And also I'll give it a style of continuous. Now let's see how it looks like. So right now we can see that the ornament is placed in such a manner that its center gets touched to the bottom edge of the window. Similarly, let's play around with it and see another example. If I give this as bottom trailing, that means I want to attach it to the bottom trailing edge of the window. And if I specify this as say top, now what this is going to do is the ornament is placed in such a manner that its top gets attached to the bottom trailing edge of the scene and the scene in this case is the window. Also there is one quick observation about ornaments as we move our window the ornament moves with it but in case our content is scrollable within our window the content or the information gets scrolled, but the ornament remains as is. So that's majorly it about this video. I hope you enjoyed learning this new concept and now you can creatively use ornaments in your Vision OS app. In the next video of the series, we will learn how to create multiple windows within our Vision OS app using Swift UI. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such videos in future. See you in the next one.